Hey guys, Mike Brisson here. We all make mistakes. And today, I'm gonna to show you the top 10 mistakes that Unity developers make. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Number 10, forgetting to attach your script. Okay, let's check out these bullets. Uh... Number nine, forgetting to call your method. Okay, I've attached my script. Now let's check out these bullets. But now, number eight, forgetting to prefab your game objects. Okay, script attached, method called. Please, let's check out these bullets. Number seven, forgetting to null check. Okay, I've got my script attached, my method called, my prefab created. That has to be it. Please, let's fire this bullet. Number six, not pseudocoding. Okay, this is gonna be a long script, but I know what I'm doing. Okay, evaluate. Oops. And to check. Okay, and then I'm, I got the camera, and then I, um, what was I trying to accomplish again? Number five, not commenting or documenting your work. Okay, time to tweak that script I created last week. What, what is this? Who, I created this? What, it, what, what even is that? Uh, I've never seen this code before in my life. Number four, not using debug.log. Okay guys, I've got nothing witty here for this, but before you get too deep into your own code, one of the first things that you should be doing is putting a simple debug.log statement with a string inside, and that way when you go over into your, your game, you just hit play. And now when I engage that script, you can clearly see bullet fired, so you know at least that the method's being called. Number three. Thinking you have to create all of your assets for your game from scratch. Okay, now I just have to create some armor. Guns, swords, grenades, health pickups, ammo pickups, buildings, vehicles, characters, particle effects, UI elements, terrain, vegetation. And then I'm done. Places like Unity's Asset Store, as well as Game Dev HQ's very own file base, have literally thousands of assets to choose from. And you don't have to go to external websites to import, they're both accessible right from within Unity. Number two, not using version control. Whew, can't believe I'm finally done. This is going to be the greatest game I've ever... And before we get to number one, I just want to throw out an honorable mention to one of the biggest mistakes developers make, and that's not starting, and even worse, not finishing that game. And the number one mistake that Unity developers make is not subscribing to this channel. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And again, I encourage you to check out the incredible assets over at GameDevHQ.com, where their assets can both save you time and really make your game stand out. See you next time.